Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Chinta. I am Rajdeep and today we will be looking at problem number 22 from IOQM 2024. So let's get into it. So in this problem we are given a right triangle ABC with the right angle at A. Right, let's see what else the problem says. D is a point on BC such that AB plus BD is equal to AC plus CD. What that means is that D is such a point on the hypotenuse which divides the perimeter into two equal parts. So, if we see, it would make sense that the point is closer to C than B because, well, AC is bigger than AB. And as is just based on what we have, we've drawn here. It's also given that BD to DC is 2 to 1. That's the proportion. And what we have to find is AC by AB. It's given in a certain form. And we'll have to find AC by AB in that form and then answer questions based on that. So, let's say that CD is T. Right? We denote, we denote it by T. Then, because of this proportion, BD has to be 2T. And let, and let uh, AB be equal to X. Right? Then because of the condition, AB plus BD is equal to AC plus CD, we're forced to let AC is equal to X plus T. Right? Because you want AB plus BD, which is X plus 2T, to be AC plus CD. So this has to be X plus T. And now all we have to do is just look at the fact that this is a right angle in triangle. Because of this, we can apply Pythagoras' theorem to get that. X plus T squared plus X squared is equal to 3T whole square, which implies 2x square plus 2xt plus t square is equal to 9t square. If I write this as 8t square minus 2xt minus 2x square, what we have is essentially a quadratic in t. You can think of it in both ways. You can think of it as a quadratic in x or a quadratic in t. Thinking of x as a constant. Now, we want to find AC by AB. What is AC by AB? That's X plus T by X, which is just 1 plus T by X. It makes sense then to divide throughout by X square to get 8 of T by X square minus 2 of T by X minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I let T by X equals U, all I want to know is what is the value of 1 plus U, right? And if I can find the value of u, from here, I'll be done. But this is just a quadratic. So if I write this as a2 squared minus 2u minus 2, which is just 4u squared minus u minus 1, is 0. And if I just use the quadratic formula here, it's perceivable that I'll get something that looks like this. Right? So let's just quickly apply the quadratic formula. We get that u is 1 plus minus root over 4 square, which is 16, square root of minus 1 square, which is just 1, minus 4 into 4 into minus 1, whole divided by 2 into 4, which is just 8. We have 1 plus minus root over 17, by 8. It's clear that u cannot be negative, right? If you look at the diagram itself, it's evident that AC is greater than AB, and so this ratio is greater than 1, and so u has to be positive, right? So we get that u is equal to 1 plus root 70 by 8, which implies that 1 plus u is equal to 1 plus this thing, which is just 9 plus root 70 by 8. If you look at the conditions imposed on M and N, P in this form, we want them to be relatively prime and P be a prime number. If we go back to our form for 1 plus U, which is AC by A, we use exactly what we want. 9 is 17 and 8 are all co-prime and 17 is a prime. So our answer is 9 plus 17 plus 8, which is 34. And that's the answer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.